This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, very good morning and uh, this is an announcement for uh, a new AWS English batch which is going to start on June 13th uh, which is coming Saturday and uh, it starts from 9 uh, PM so 9 PM to 11 PM Indian Standard Time so uh, This will be the first step in uh, reaching this roadmap if you see uh, it is always good to have in a career Like you need to start with AWS go with the DevOps and then Azure and then KTS and Python So uh, people who are able to follow this roadmap got placed very easily and uh, they got job or uh, they got They got into the next level very easily. Okay. This is the roadmap I'm proposing so and people who took that is very good right now now the course uh, uh, what we're going to discuss on 13th right it is going to allow you to take a certifications as solution architect associate it's going to allow you to take system operations at developer uh, developer as well and it is an online only course guys uh, uh, i'm not taking any classroom classes it's an only online course and it is going to start on 13th june 2020 that means in another seven days guys i'm recording this on uh, june 6th and it's going to start on another seven days which is from uh, sat coming saturday and the duration is two months guys I'm expecting two months uh, it will get it will go somewhere like almost like 60 hours basically totally and the classes will happen from 9 to 11 p.m. and it will happen only on Saturday Sunday Tuesday and Thursday if you can see it happens for uh, it can it can happens like uh, four days a week if sometimes it's required right I'm going to take a class in between like a Wednesday or so if, if it is required okay and it is a mode of uh, mode of teaching will be in English and uh, the prerequisites for, for this one will be either you should have a good Linux experience or Windows experience if you don't have uh, Linux or Windows experience what I can do is I kept some demo videos and uh, this, this information is available in the description actually the video description you have all these links where the Linux basics you can you can study the Linux basics okay so the course fee will be twelve thousand, which can be paid, uh, which can be paid in two into six thousands. And this is my contact and email. So before going to the meeting details, let's understand what are the things you're going to study uh, as part of this course. So I'm going to open the curriculum. Okay. So so I have promised like it is like a 50 days is a regular class, but English class it will take like four days. So totally, I'm expecting it will be sixty hours, guys. Okay. Now. If you see, we're going to talk about these modules about what exactly is cloud computing, uh, what are AWS and Azure, how what are different availability zones, and we're going to talk about the virtual private cloud, how exactly it, it isolates the things, how the networking works in AWS, and we also talk about like routing policies, internet gateways, is, is transit gateways, everything. If you see, I, I am yet to add the transit gateway here. And we have the VPC pairings between the regions, between the in the single region, multiple regions, and including even between the between the uh, accounts as well. And later we're going to talk about the NAT gateways and endpoints, which are very important for the private subnets. And then we're going to talk about the network security groups or network ACLs, and to discuss about what is the difference and what need to be used in the real time. And after that we're going to have also have the VPN connectivity as well as a uh, transit gateway as well, which is a new component And we're going to talk about like here the transit gateway VPC peering issues and transit gateway What are the issues you're going to get and the module? The next module will be like we're going to talk about EC2 elastic block storage snapshots and everything and this is this is going to get interesting Actually, we're going to talk about network load balances application load balances. We're going to talk about SSL certificates We're going to talk about route 53 zones and everything and after that we're going to talk about the auto scaling understanding how you automate the uh, AMI creation automatically so using Packer and we're going to talk about systems manager here so which will give you automation of your aws account uh, in aws and later we're going to from module 12 as you can see we're going to talk about the storage uh, s3 storage as well as elastic file system there is a new thing which is fsx storage uh, which requires active directory we're going to talk about that and uh, later we're going to talk about the databases uh, understanding what is the difference between sql and nosql uh, and uh, deploying about mysql multi az databases performing the failures understanding uh, the serverless application and deploying using uh, dynamo DB along with redshift and we are going to talk have a theoretical sessions about the elastic cache coming further 
uh, we're going to talk about like uh, CloudWatch. Uh, what are the things we're going to monitor and everything? Cloud Trail security, as well as we're going to talk about the Cloud Formation template. I think I believe I need to put separately the Cloud Formation template, and we're going to talk about Elastic Beanstalk and everything. So further, if you can see like uh, the modules 15, 16, we're going to talk about security, a lot of things, guys. So even we are going to talk about developer tools, and I also include uh, a module for understanding the automation tools using Terraform and Packer. We're not going to deep into Terraform and Packer, but to understand what is the high level. And next is we also talk about the configuration and design management tools using Ansible and Puppet, guys. So this is like a uh, this is like an introduction to bef before you're going to the next level, right? To the DevOps is just giving you overview. And module 22, you have data analytics and uh, 23 data analytics. It will be a theoretical session. We're not going cover deep into that one. And 23 is about a. Uh, uh, deep dive into lambda guys what what are the things you can do with lambda and how actually the boto 3 library can be used all these things we're going to use it so this will help you to automate uh, the machine shutdown starting or copying the data or creating a snapshot a lot of things can be done and aws lambda is very vital in the serverless framework so we're going to discuss about this one finally we're going to and then the last module we're going to discuss about day-to-day -day activities of aws admin and we're going to take a project how the interview questions will be all these things will be discussed so i can see 24 modules so i said it is 60 hours but i'm pretty much sure it is going beyond 60 to 65 actually because of the nature of the uh, uh, the course as well as the contents so again guys let me tell you this this is very vital uh, this is the first step in reaching out to a, being a cloud admin or being a devops engineer so we to get a to get a job as devops easily easily uh, devops engineer easily okay so again we have all the meeting details here as you can see there is a meeting details and you can always whatsapp me or email me on this one so these are the meeting details copy and paste uh, into the browser it will join and you have all the uh, this is the curriculum as well as you have the demo videos guys these are the demo videos which you can actually start so again i'm repeating so it's a new english aws training batch starting from june 13th 9 pm to 11 pm okay and this class will ho happen only on saturday sunday tuesday and thursday if there is any requirement if there is a requirement then i'm going to put a class on some, some other day as well but if it is required most probably we're going to stick to the schedule and it will be in english and the expectation is you should have basic linux and wind or windows skills and the fee will be twelve thousand. and here is the meeting details okay thanks for watching guys let's get up uh, get get in touch with in the during the training and uh, happy learning yeah bye folks